Imagine we have a petri dish, and on it there are many bacteria, one type with a blue allele and one type with an orange allele. The alleles convey different fitnesses because one might have mutated into another, and now the characteristics that they code for provide a higher payoff in a competition between two players. So suppose we chose two bacteria from the petri dish at random. We label them arbitrarily player one and player two. We can now construct a payoff matrix to show an encounter between these two bacteria. Player one plays on the row and player two plays on the column. They could either have alleles of the blue strain or of the orange strain. Here are some completely random payoffs. Do you notice that they're symmetrical though? In the simplified model, there's no advantage to being player one or player two. But let's look at player one's payoffs. If it's blue and it meets another blue type bacteria, both get payoff two. But if the bacteria it meets is an orange strain, well, the blue gets a payoff of four. If it's an orange bacteria and it meets a blue strain, it will get payoff of five. But if it meets an orange strain, both get a payoff of three. Exactly the same logic applies to player two. Okay, going back to the Petri dish. It used to be all blue bacteria, but in this scenario, a few orange bacteria have arrived and they may or may not have an evolutionary advantage. That's what we're about to find out. There are N individuals in this population. I of them play blue, N minus I play orange. Clearly in our case, population orange is in minority. We say that proportion I divided by N plays blue and N minus I divided by N plays orange. And this is denoted by E, generally a tiny number to represent the proportion of mutant or alien allele. Will orange playing with those fitnesses in this current population state reach fixation and take over the entire Petri dish? Well, we can find that out by drawing a graph with the fraction of population playing, bl playing blue on the x-axis. E is on the left, basically when i is close to zero, and one minus e is on the right, approximately equal to one, where blue would be the founder allele. When the whole population is orange, a blue will get payoff of four, but an orange would get payoff of three. When the whole population is blue, blue gets average payout of two, but orange gets payoff of five. If we connect each coloured dot together, we get a point of intersection, the point of equilibrium, which we call the evolutionarily stable strategy. The exact proportion we can find graphically, which would be 25% of population blue and 75% orange, where the average payoff would be 3.5 for both. Orange would basically start invading the petri dish, but not completely. So that's an introduction to evolutionary game theory. While the numbers are chosen at random, you get an idea of what this area of mathematical biology is about.